Hello all you clashers out there, this is Galaxis and I'm back again with another video for you guys. This is Lost Battlefield Gameplay and it is on my main account. This is the first time I'm setting this up so getting a chance just to sort of understand how this all works. Um, I'm going to go ahead and place my guys here. Now you got three different uh, sets of five. So you got to be able to put your guys in an order that's going to uh, you know, allow you to do the best. And uh, we'll go ahead and switch on over to the other set. All right, so what you'll do is you can't use duplicates. So you have to, you know, you have to use all of your guys and you're not gonna be able to use any duplicate pumpkins or anything like that. So you have to try and figure out what the best combination of crews will be. Uh, you know, that's gonna help you to be able to win. And uh, what you do is you have three, uh, there's actually three uh, matches in each, uh, or three battles in each match. And you gotta win two out of three battles in order to win the match. So, uh, you know, you'll get an opportunity to choose who's going to be your, which set is going to be your first, your second, and your third. And, and then, uh, you know, you get a chance to see if that's able to beat the guy who you're up against. Now, sometimes you may have to, you know, change a few things around. So, uh, you know, what I'm doing here this first time is just going through and trying to put together a crew that's going to work. Um, you know, I got that ice demon and uh, the shaman in on this last crew. And... Uh, you know, what I'm thinking is I want to do is go out on into my altar and just to double check because I have a couple ice demons and a couple shamans. And I want the one with the high revitalize to be the, the guy that I'm using. Okay, so four or five revitalize and um, that's the best one of those. And then let's see, our shaman is a four of eight scatter. Okay, so he is set and ready to go the four of eight scatter. That's going to help also reducing the target. Going to have to probably work on bringing those guys up in order to, you know, to really be able to use those guys in this game mode. But there you go. You know, got, got everything set up. And so let's go ahead. You just click on where you normally go to do your battle altar. And it's down at the end, Lost Battlefield. You can go ahead and get on in there. And let me just double check and make sure that I have the right guy there. Yeah, level 100. So go ahead and. Level 80 is the guy that I needed. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead. We'll get that set up. Let's try this out for the first time uh, and just sort of see how this works. So I got to choose which one I'm going to have go first. A little bit of strategy is going to go into this because you don't want to, um, you know, you want to be able to to beat the guy that you're up against. And you may have to, to choose one of the crews to go first to sacrifice them in order to get some of, one of the stronger uh, one of his stronger sets out of the way so you see I'm not really having too much uh, you know chance with that crew right there so we'll go ahead and we're gonna have to and then this is a pretty strong crew here so we're probably gonna have to switch some things around because that guy has a pretty strong uh, couple sets of crews there so don't want to uh, don't want to go up against that again so we're gonna need to change a few things around um, Probably try him first, him second, that makes him third. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll see how this works out and maybe, now I'm noticing one thing, my pumpkin is, is actually in the back and you know, I probably want to have him in the front because that's sort of how, how I do best when I have them trigger my pumpkin. My pumpkin has a, a revitalize, so, I mean a uh, revive, so you know, I can afford to have him uh, get taken down he'll just come back and it'll just help everything go a lot a lot quicker there so let's see here this didn't turn out too bad I actually ended up getting a victory it looks like with Atlanta core okay cool so Atlanta core his shield up was able to uh, beat that siren in the end and uh, let's see can we get a victory here probably not because his guys levels are 140 138 so this is where it's really gonna pay off to get your your um, you know all your little guys up and get their levels up you know so it's gonna take some more time probably to work on those stats and get those guys up in order to, to utilize them the best but okay so what I was noticing is that all of my guys are sort of repo I need to reposition because they're positioned in the wrong direction so go ahead and I'll just start moving everybody around and get them set up so this this is akin to your uh, lost realm um, or your you know your battle altars all of your different uh, setups and also Mesa 
So, um, you know, just like with those guys, your your guys there, like my Atlanta core is going to be in front. And, uh, you know, I need to go ahead and move the uh, Paladin up in the front so he can be the tanker. And then that, that should do a lot better. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll go back at this guy again. And uh, what we'll do is I think we'll use that set as the first. Uh, then we'll go two and three. Okay, so that way we're going to go ahead and we'll see if we can take his first crew out with our pumpkin. And we shouldn't have too much of a problem with that because my uh, main crew is pretty strong. Okay, so cool. We got the victory on that. Okay, so now what we have to do is we got to get one of two of these last victories, uh, last matches in, um, or last battles, sorry. The two of these battles, and, or at least one of those, and we'll have a win. Okay, so he took that. Now let's hope that his third crew is not as strong as my third crew. And I do have my Atlanta core out in the front, so he's going to proc and take a lot of that actually wiped him out quicker than I would have imagined that they would have but that's okay and yeah you know it looks really good looks like we're gonna get it with a few more procs from our guys okay cool so we got our first victory two wins one loss and that gave us a victory in the whole entire match but we did lose one of the battles so that's how that works out you just have to be able to win two of the battles in order to win the match so uh, you know you have to sort of keep in mind that Sometimes it'll be trial and error. You might need to, you know, choose a few different uh, setups as far as it goes to be able to have the best outcome. But yeah, man, I mean, this just seems like a really cool uh, game mode. You know, I, I like it. I think this is gonna be, it's gonna be fun. And uh, you know, it's not like the arena. You're gonna have to actually battle on a regular basis in order to to remain dominant in this uh, game mode. So that's cool, man. You know, let's go ahead and I got a couple more uh, tries, a couple more attempts that we can do. So we'll go ahead, we'll start with our pumpkin in the front. And uh, that first guy that I challenged, he was pretty strong. This, these guys uh, with the 113 and 120, they're not a problem at all. Like, just a breeze to wipe, wipe those guys out real quick. So we got a win there. And I think we can probably get a win here too, no problem. And that's gonna be two wins for us. That'll be a, uh, a match one again. So cool, yeah, not a problem. All right, so check it out, 67 plus 26. So uh, 87. So we're starting to rise up and it looks like you're gonna wanna stay very active in this if you wanna try and rank up because it's a, a running tally. They keep a running tally. Uh, so you're gonna need to continue to stay active in order to keep, get those points to continue to rise. And, uh, you know, it looks like there, there may be some uh, gems that are going to be paid out for some of the top people in this game mode. So, something to keep in mind and, you know, definitely a lot of opportunity here. Okay, knock those guys right out. Got another two, uh, another two battles out of the way real quick. And we, now we have 111 season points. So, and the season ends in six days. So, it looks like the seasons are one week, possibly. And, uh, you know, it's a one week running tally now. I don't have any more chances, so that's going to be it for this video. But I want to thank you guys for stopping in, checking the video out. Make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to keep on posting some good videos for you guys. And until next time, Galaxis out. out.